Carol Iariel of Ireland is our umpire, Klaus Schlieben of Austria, our service judge. So, obviously, as far as England are concerned, this is a must win situation. And also, as far as their head to heads are concerned, well, only one previous meeting, which was at the last European Mixed Team Championships two years ago in Aramanskoya, won by the Danes. So the odds are stacked against the English pair. But I suspect that will just fire them up even more. You ready, ladies? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, England, represented by Heather Oliver and Lauren Smith. And on my left, Denmark, represented by Christina Pedersen and Camilla Ruta Yule. England to serve, Lauren Smith. Camilla Ruta Yule, love all, play. So Lauren Smith getting this women's doubles match underway. And as I was saying, it's a must win situation for the English women's doubles pair. If England don't win this, then it is a match over. The title it goes back to Denmark. and powerful athlete Rutiol 31 years of age now Her partner Peterson three years younger 28 from Aalborg in North Jutland mm, that's a good flick serve When I saw the order of play for today's final, I have to say I was a little surprised. It's clearly in the rule book what the order of play must be. But considering both semi-finals had female players who were playing in both the mixed doubles and the women's doubles, so two disciplines, and we started with the mixed doubles then had the two singles, then the men's doubles, and the fifth and last match scheduled was the women's doubles. And I have to say, I thought that worked exceptionally well and seems to me to be the ideal scenario for a mixed team competition because we could potentially have a scenario here where this final is over in three matches and we will have witnessed two women's only matches in the women's singles and the women's doubles and only one men's match uh, the men's singles well if you start with the mixed doubles and then have the two singles then it's an equal share of men's and women's participation if the contest is over in uh, just three matches it was a thrilling day yesterday Now the Danes a perfect start, 6-1 advantage. Seven, 
English player, pair desperately need to play themselves into this game. Just off the pace at the moment, and that's not helping their cause. Service error. Hmm, service error, followed by a return error. Oh, told off by the umpire. There was obviously some sort of verbal comment, which I certainly didn't hear. Oh, that's nice. Service fault called. Well, how many service errors have we had? And now we've got a service fault. Struck above the waist. Play. Yeah. Wasn't a good serve and it got what it deserved. So a seven-point advantage. 11-4 in just five minutes of play. Now Julian Robertson's got his work cut out here because at the moment his players aren't really in the rallies. Just far too loose, that last serve from Lauren Smith. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. She's an excellent athlete. In fact, both the England women's doubles players on court at the moment are very good athletes. And Lauren Smith is not adverse to doing all the hard work from the back of the court. She's got great work ethic. But unless you can get into the rally, not much good. Be as fit and as fast as you want. Whoops. Ah, well caught, madam. <laughs> yeah, good reactions. Holding that serve for an age. Yeah, the drive defence from the Danes played to great effect. And that was at least better in that the English pair got into the rally more. Just couldn't deal with the sheer pace of shot. 13-5. have to perhaps question the cross-court lift from Olva towards the left-hander's forehand side. Well, this is all one-way traffic at the moment and the Danish pair really showing us why they are world-class. Oh. 
Oh, that's terrific. And that's why she's a former world champion in the mixed doubles. Camilla Rutiyo. Look at the movement at the front of the court initially, in the early stages of that rally. Then the drive defence moves forward and that long reach of hers intercepting the shuttle. And I think she was probably put off, hence the wry smile, Christina Peterson, because she saw her partner trying to intercept and then realised that she hadn't made contact and she'd have to play the shot instead. Oh dear. Well, I think this opening game is beyond the English pair, but I'd really love to see them play themselves into the pace of the match and give themselves a little bit of belief before the start of the second game. Not the best of serves, but she got away with it. when they're on the attack, the Danes. Both players, tall, physical athletes. Look at that. Lovely turning of the shot there from the left-hander. Lovely. Yeah, saw the gap. Calmly just guides the shuttle into the open space, forcing an error from her opponents. Game points are plenty for Denmark. Oh yes, well taken. That really is super play. So 21-9 the opening game for Denmark. Just 12 minutes for that opening game. Is 
Well, it's very interesting. I made comment yesterday about the fact that the Danish women's doubles pair did not have either of the Danish coaches sitting on the coaches bench behind the court while they were playing. Same thing is happening right here, right now in the final. Well, we'll have to find out more about this. I don't know whether it's part of the player development. Ah! There's young Fisher Nielsen. Jonathan, York and Fisher Nielsen's oldest child. One game to the good, the Danes, in this women's doubles. Very comfortable opening game. Oh dear. Well, I was making comment in the opening game about the number of service errors and return errors. Got to make your opponent play the shuttle. Yeah. Well, both the Danish players have medalled in world championships in the mixed doubles discipline. And you don't do le that unless you're very, very good at coming forward and pressurising the net situation. Yeah, that's much better return. And seen her do that earlier in the week. Good returns like that. Yeah, we know that the English pair have got the capabilities. It's just not happening for them at the moment. Yeah. Loose serve again from Olva. Service over. And that was put away with venom. serve is short well I wish I kept a track on this from the start of the match how many service errors yeah that's good aggressive play from Lauren Smith Two thousand and thirteen, Carlisle Sports Personality of the Year, Lauren Smith. It's a nice accolade for a Babington player in football mad England. Oh, service fault called racket not pointing Seven, in a downward four, direction. Seven, three,
Mm, strings gone, I think, in the racket of Rutiol. Yes, indeed. Service over. There's a completely different sound of the shuttle coming off the racket when the strings go. Oh, yeah. That's the problem with the flick serve. That was the service fault called on Heather Olver. I'm seeing that again. I think the service judge was spot on. When you hit that flick serve, there's a tendency to come up over the shuttle to generate the extra pace. And that, of course, is the danger of then not having your racket pointing in a downward direction. What defence? Yeah, this is much better by the English combination. Good rally. Yeah. But every time the Danes get an opportunity to use the power play, and especially with the big left-hander, at the back of the court, they seem to win the rally in double quick time. Yeah, that's nice. The block defence, getting the English pair back on the attack themselves. Mm, lift given away. Yeah, I have to question in my own mind the rationale behind this clear from Heather Olver to the tall left-hander. As I was saying just seconds ago, when she gets the opportunity to smash, it's usually uh, very decisive. Clever serve. Changing the angle, serving out wide. Service over. Six, Oh, lovely. Look at that turn defence from Christina Pedersen. Just guides it across court. Clear thinking, good skills. And to the mid-game interval with a five-point advantage. Look at that, only 21 minutes so far, and we've had already three minutes of intervals. The one minute in the middle of the opening game, and then the two-minute interval in between the first and second. Now, she's not doing that out of rage, just releasing the tension of all the strings. So, with one string, or maybe more, gone, then just snips them all out so that the racket head doesn't get distorted by some still tight strings, some soft strings that have broken. And that's what they're playing for. The trophy and the title. Service over, 7-11. Oh. 
Oh, service fault called it again. Service over 12-7. Well, the umpire's absolutely right because the service judge has given a, a clear signal as he's required to do as to the reason that he's called a fault. Uh, there shouldn't actually be any need for verbal confirmation. And that's the whole point of having a clear signal from the service judge so that it doesn't matter what language you speak and whether you understand English or not, you know why the fault was called. Oh, look at that power play again. Simply isn't good enough just to get the first, second or even third smash back. You've got to try and turn your defensive play into attacking play. One smash. Follows forward. Well, I hate to say it, yet another service error. Service over Yeah, it is a very, very good serve from Christina Peterson. I think she's probably got certainly one of the best low serves in the whole of world badminton, if not the best. There's another, just skimming over the net. So consistent with it. Just long. Service over ten seventeen. Play. Missed it. Oh, it's one of the rare occasions she has missed it.
That's gone wide. And now the Danes just three points away from a third match victory in this best of five matches final tie. And that, of course, would mean that they regain the title. Yeah. Such a difference for the English pair when they're managing to get themselves on the attack and hit the shuttle in a downward direction, force the Danes to defend. Because in my opinion, the Danes, when they're on the attack, uh, that's when they show themselves to be the world-class pair that they are. time defense and you can't be giving Arutiul opportunities like that Instead, what a pity. That would have been a well-worked rally by the English pair. Uh, but the shuttle landing long of the back line, and it means that Denmark have seven championship points. I twice thought the rally had been won by the Danes. How did they contrive to lose that? <laughs> yeah. Well, when you've got such a lead, you can maybe afford the odd error. Racket's gone. <laughs> well, what an extraordinary last two rallies in this match. But the victory by the European women's doubles champions, Christina Pedersen and Camilla Rutteul, uh, means that Denmark regain the title of European mixed team champions. A staggering 15th title in the 23rd staging of these championships. Well, Denmark celebrates as indeed they should.
didn't have it Dynamo. all their own way throughout the entirety of the championships. Only beat the Netherlands in uh, the group match 3-1.